This video is how to export selected column from grid view to Excel in ASP.NET C Sharp. Now I am adding new form to display so how to export selected column from grid view to Excel in ASP.NET C Sharp. Uh, in that case, uh, my form name is uh, specific column to Excel. Just click on add. This is a new form I just added. Go to the design. Yes, here I am. First, uh, first of all, I am adding heading. Heading is also a paragraph type. Okay, font size is double X large. Background color. Yes, this color is looking good as heading, and the font color will be white. Okay. Now, add a button control. Change the text of this button. The color of, the, of this uh, four color will be white, one is bold, and back color will be blue. Okay. Button creation is done. Resize the button and uh, resize the button text. Text is text size is X large. Okay. Now, button looking nice change the text of this button okay I am adding two button first button is for load the data in grid view and second button is uh, to export data to Excel okay add a grid view this is the button click event here I will write code to load data in grid view this is the data with my first test TV and the table is exam input. This is the data. These are the data. ID, exam, name, fee, and current. Okay. Uh, to load the data, first of all, I'm adding a link you file. And I just added the tab will be drag and drop from the server explorer to link you file. And the link you file name is data class one data context. DB equal to new data class data context. About link, how to connect, how to insert, delete, update in, uh, in C Sharp as we don't the link you uh, my tutorial available in this channel. Okay, now I'm writing to a code to do to load data in grid view uh, in ASP.NET by a single from SDB dot exam info tab select S. Okay, this is the context. Now I will load the data the context in grid view. Oh, sorry, I didn't add a grid view yet. Just that I can drop the grid view from toolbox. Okay, grid view under data choose equal to ST. The context is ST. Grid view under data bind. It's done. Now, go to the view in browser. Load. Yes, the data is loaded. I just reset the grid view. This is the button to click event uh, which uh, execute the export grid view selected column in Excel. This is the code. This is the code uh, to export grid view to Excel. My grid view name is grid view one. Response dot clear. Response dot buffer. This is initially I'm showing you uh, how to export all grid view full grid view in Excel in ASP.NET C Sharp after that i will show how to export selected column which column you want to export and which column you want to ignore it will not be export in asp.net see continue a string writer you, you should use namespace using system.io html writer to use html writer to render control with html writer you should use this code uh, public avoid void by render server form control control okay now save. I already said you that uh, it will export all rows and all column of grid view. It's all columns. Okay. Now reload this page. Load export to Excel. Yes, it's exported and I open the Excel file. Yes, all the column is exported in the Excel. These are the data in that SQL Server database. Now I'm going to show you how to export specific column 
from Gateview. First of all, in the eighth case, first of all, I am adding a data table and I will load that column in the data table. Then finally, I will uh, assign this data table in a dy dynamic grid. Then I will export that grid view, dynamic grid view. Okay, I will export exam ID and exam name from the SQL Server database table which loaded in the uh, grid view dt dot column dotted exam id i'll export only two column among these five column there are five column i'll export two column exam id and exam name my column name is exam id and exam name First of all, I declared two column dt dot column dot. I just added the column exam ID and exam name. Then I am using a loop for each grid view rows. Grid view row row in grid view one dot row. Okay. After looping it each row, it will uh, load that column. What I already added exam ID and exam name. In that case, I am declaring an index uh, integer i equal to row dot index. Then data row d i equal to dt dot new row. It's just initially start with new row. Okay. Now dt the column name. Then grid b one dot rows i mean index. First index is first row and the cell cell is the exam ID in the cell of uh, let me check this is exam ID 0 1 2 1 exam ID is in the uh, first uh, one co column you must remember that index start from 0 exam ID is index 1 and exam name is index 2 finally dt dot rows dot add dr data row i just added data row as dt finally i am um, declaring a dynamic grid view grid view gb equal to new grid view gb dot data source equal to dt gb dot data bind dt is the data table finally i just uh, load the dt in grid view then finally i just export that grid view dynamic grid view okay go to the browser yes reload this page click on load yes export to excel now it will export only exam id and exam name open the excel file to see yes exam id and exam name to export exam id exam name and count and count call uh, add just add count column first of all declare column dt column dot add count so you want to count and then dr count and you know know that the count is in home in which call index yes count is index 4 because the index start from 0 okay i just closed all the excel file now go to the browser reload this page just click on load yes uh, yes now it will export exam id exam name and count export to excel yes open yes Final exam ID, exam name and count is exported. 